Hello and welcome back to the Argy Bargy channel and my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, suffering with a bit of a cold at the moment. Nothing major, but you probably hear the difference in my voice. I finally come up with what I'm going to do with this area over here. Um, but I'm not going to divulge it just yet. Um, what have I been up to? Well, I've been mining and grinding away on the zombie farm over there. Um, Basically, I had to recover myself as far as uh, diamond tools and things were concerned because I left most of them in the lava when I derped off that wall, um, which you saw last time, and I'm not going to go over it again because I thought it was embarrassing. Um, I could have gone down in balls of flame from ghasts or blazes or even withered away, but no, I run away and fell off a wall and ended up in lava which was quite funny um, and is typical of what uh, my experience of the nether is now I've built um, I had fun I've been out trying to attract the attentions of some endermen um, at night time and I keep blowing uh, big holes in everywhere um, because I'm useless at killing creepers um, they blew a great big hole here so I've just built a little structure, um, it's going to be a temporary structure and eventually I will attract some uh, villager zombies into there um, for conversion. But we haven't even built our um, brewing station yet, but we did get our shopping list. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, blaze rods, nether wart. Um, we can start brewing, although we can't do very much with just two blaze rods, so... We'll probably end up having to go and get some more, um, but those ones will do for now. Um, what am I going to do today? Well, I thought we could do another farm today. So I've got some things over there. I'm going to leg it over, start building. I should have a bed in my... yes I have. Um, we can sleep through the night. And this is where I've been doing most of my hunting and... One of the friendly creepers managed to blow up my newly laid path, but we can soon repair that, I think. Um, yeah, so we're going to do... Well, I've been burning a lot of books over on the grinder, so... You guys, you're all going to fit in a one-block hole. But first of all, I'm going to turn them off because they're really distracting, so... Um, let's go into my options. Music and sound. Friendly creatures. Off. Back to game. And peace and quiet. Excellent. So, I'm going to use a simple design. Um, it's not the complete design with all redstone contraptions and things. But I'll be using a couple of dispensers. A gate. Some blocks for building and um, a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Uh, yes, we are going to end up boiling them in lava like we did the chickens. So, we've got some stuff in here. Um, I don't actually need the redstone and I put my looting sword in there for some reason. Um, but I won't be using that today. So, I'm going to need, first off, we're going to do the old um, chest. And this farm uh, basic design can be used for all three of these animals, so I may well reproduce um, this. So, let's see, I'm going to be coming from this side of the building, so the chest would be handiest on this side. So we can put him there, and we're going to put a hopper, shift clicker hopper, into the back of that chest. Yeah, that is shift. There we go. And that's our collection point. Um, yeah, there's not, nothing much else I can say about that, really. Uh, okay. We'll get some building blocks. And two of the dispensers. Um, and some glass. So first off, we'll fill this in. And 
that is our ground floor completed. So I think I need to go up three high. So I'm going to go three high anyway. I can always take them off later. Now this one can be solid. Um, yep. Yep, I'm happy with that as well. Uh, I need to put another row here. And that's our second floor, just a U shape. Now, I need to put a block in here, but I'm going to remove it again in a minute because that's where our gate is going to go. I think um, I may have been able to place the gate on the side, but let's get our gate. <coughs> up there there we go let's just have a look if we could have put it on the side yes we could so we didn't even need to put that block in but uh, we did it anyway um, thinking about it thinking about it I'm gonna leave that block in anyway what's gonna happen is all the cows are gonna live on this square here a dispenser will dispense water from here and buckets are still in the chest Boom. Boom. Um, take this block out take this block out and that will be it did excellent so we need a half slab just off there um, do we they can climb back out of here can't they yes they can so as you can see, I've naturally built this one before. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to take that one and that one. It can be glass so we can see what's going on. I'm going to remove this chest and hopper. There we go. And I'm going to... Oh, use the axe. Come on. Put them in the floor. Uh, the chest can go back in. Yeah, this looks much better. Um, right, I need to take this block out because I won't be able to get my hopper in, will I? And this slab. Hopper into there. There we go, and yep, I blocked myself in. <laughs> okay, let's put everything back again. Um, so that will be a slab. Two blocks. Uh, no, not cobblestone. Diorite. There we go. And now, what will happen? Um, the baby cows will be pushed through this gap, this one high gap, and drop down onto the hopper. Uh, so now I can put my half slab there to stop them derping in and out of the hopper, and we can cover this end up with some glass. Oh dear. And no, I can't get my chest, can I? Mm-hmm. There we go. I've been grinding away. Still haven't got silk touch. Um, I can rectify this. I'm going to put a stair there. So we can fill this side in. You can see what's going on. Yeah. 
excuse me, I'm just about to cough. <coughs> okay, let's get our bed down before we get interrupted. It may well be too late. But I've learnt my lesson. Um, and I keep the volume to hostile creatures turned up, except when I'm in my grinder, so. Okay, that's partly done now. I need to take these back out. Um, a dispenser there. Glass again here. Okay. We can put another piece of diorite there. Oh dear. Block update problem again. Do some steps to get up. And that is it. We need to get our cows into this block. Which is going to be the problem. Um, but what I can do is show you briefly how it works works. Have I got a button? I haven't. Um, one, two. One for each dispenser. Crafty. Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> it wouldn't be me I suppose if I didn't. Um. Yeah, I don't think they can get out of a half block so... That will do nicely. Okay, what am I doing? Showing you how it works. Get rid of the glass. Because I haven't put my lava in there yet. One lava. One water. One lava. And in this one... Goes the water. And I could put a button um, on any adjacent block. Make two buttons. So I'm going to put a button there. And a button directly onto that one. Will that work? Yes, it does. Now. If I just turn this music off, because that will distract me also. <laughs> there we go. That on that off. Just right now. I do actually quite like playing with the music on. Um, okay, let's just get rid of these steps. And at the moment the gate is closed. How many cows have I got? Uh, about 40, do you think? Yeah, I'd say about 40. What you can do... Um, the reason... Mumbo used a sign under there. And it's, it's just to stop. When I press this button... There we go. Press. Water comes out. And the cows will bob up and down in the water. Um, is that high enough? It'll have to be. <laughs> oh, dear, I might have to put another block on there. I've not thought about this, but the cows may well be able to bob out of the water and climb out. I'm not sure. Anyway, the cows will bob up and down and you can feed them. Um, if this gate was open, any of the babies would be flushed out and they would end up down here. Um, yeah, basically that's it. The baby cows end up on this side, you wait for them to grow up and then you hit them with the lava, that sets them on fire. Um, and the drops end up in the chest, which should be beef and leather not diorite uh, and that is the basics of it 
really simple design now he used a sign to stop the water flowing through I've used a gate because once your cows are in here um, every time you breed them the babies will fall through and so when the babies fall through you won't be able to increase the number that you have here whereas if I leave that gate closed I get as many cows in as I can or until I get bored of trying to get them to fall in a one by one hole once they're all in there um, I can breed them up um, wait till they're all adults and then it's as simple as I just pop up here knock out this block open the gate and then put the block back and then next time I go to breed them the babies will start to flow through um, and that's why I've used a gate rather than just a sign uh, if you use just a sign you have to make sure that you can tempt enough of these cows into the hole <laughs> which is going to be the same as trying to get the chickens to go into the chicken cooker from uh, not last episode the previous episode uh, and that is the farm and you can do exactly the same thing for pigs and sheep so I'm going to build one on this wall for the pigs and one on this wall for the sheep and they fit great so that's a cooker. I'm not going to bore you with me getting cows in there. Um, that will be done by next time. But um, I want to discuss the idea that I've had for over here. And it also involves converting the zombies. So there's going to involve villagers. So what you need to do is, well, why would I want to have villagers? <laughs> and it's probably an easy guess if you see my previous let's play that I did um, it's not going to be on as grand a scale as that one but uh, there's a bit of encouragement to go back and watch what I did with villagers in the last one um, there's two things you can use villagers for at three now you can use them to farm you can use them um, to make iron golems and you can use them to trade and it's one of those things so um, I'm going to hopefully capture myself a couple uh, the nearest village is a long way away it's right over there and I don't fancy dragging them back using the old shuttle of minecarts like I did in my previous let's play so that's that and there's one more thing I want to show you if we have a look at my mob drops uh, quickly 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 you can see I've started to build up some slimes and I've caught some endermen um, and I've got a looting sword now as you saw in the chest over the other side from all the grinding and I missed the door yep yeah, so uh, hopefully I will have the 10 ender pearls that I need to operate the uh, end portal and also I could do with a few ender pearls to turn into ender chests which is something I never got to do on my last one so I'm gonna hopefully look forward to doing that and the last thing I want to show you is where I've been getting the slime balls from now if you remember down here I have pop up if I can get down um, I started building a slime farm uh, I believe these are actually in slime chunks and I finished the first floor um, and while I was building this as I got to the very extremes occasionally a slime would spawn and that's where I've been getting my slime balls from now considering out of these six chunks four of them are slime chunks it's really still not a brilliant performer uh, and for the amount of digging <laughs> I've done I mean I've spent hours digging in here I've, I've killed out oh, there's a slime straight away bang on cue so yeah I've spent hours uh, digging all this out six chunks was probably a 
bit too ambitious. Um, however, it's done. I can hear another one somewhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, it's huge. There we go. Yeah, six chunks was probably a bit ambitious, but now the next steps for me is to repair that. That will annoy me no end, knowing that that's there. The next step for me is to dig another two blocks down so that we've got um, the two that I'm studying and two more blocks uh, down all the way along and in the trench around the outside. Like this. Obviously I could, I wouldn't be putting holes in it, but this trench will actually have to go another two blocks down at least all the way around. I'm going to make it three like that. And the reason for that is as the slimes spawn up here, we would like them to drop. There's an enderman. That's another benefit to having this. Oh, I wish I had my looting sword. <laughs> yeah, I have been getting endermen um, spawning now and again. I've been getting them on top of here and under, in the trenches around the outside. Obviously, as we progress, we're going to make these trenches too big so they'll be able to spawn in there. But I really don't mind. They don't appear to be stealing any of the jack-o'-lanterns yet, um, which is good. So that is the rest of the progress, what I've been up to. As I said, I've spent days and days grinding in there, trying to get my diamond gear up to standard again. Um, but it's given me the chance to catch up on some of my favourite channels. I can hear another one. Yep, ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's going to try and fall in this hole. Yeah, it's given me a chance to catch up with some of my channels that I like to watch. I've been watching Conceptum One and Red Target. They're doing some great things. Red Target's um, doing a vanilla SMP and he's already got villagers and up to all sorts of mischief with those. Um, he's managed to fix his game using MC Edit. He discusses that in his last episode, which I thought was a great trick. Um, and I've only just recently started doing backups, so um, I haven't even looked at MC Edit ever. So I need to uh, have a look at that and see what that's all about. Conceptum One has been um, he's been playing hard on his his own modded version of Minecraft that he's putting together using different mods. I'm going to make a run for uh, my house, yeah. And he's been having a great time, really challenging mods that he's used, making it very difficult. He's also not going to mine anything. Um, well, not deliberately anyway. <laughs> and there's a creeper. Can I get him this time without him blowing up? Ha! Now I've got sharpness, whatever it is on this sword. Um, three. They're gone in a couple of hits. I can get most of them now. Yep. Yeah, so he's got all sorts of different mods. Um, mods. Mobs. Um, in his Let's Play that he's doing at the moment. And he's also covering a mod called Botania. Which I've never seen before. Um, and he's just getting into the nitty gritty of that. So you should get over to Conceptum One's channel. And you should have a watch of that. Because... Um, it really is a different take on like a combination of technology and uh, nature, which is fantastic. And I'm really enjoying that series. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, next time, hopefully I'll have a couple of captured zombies. Um, and I'll probably go into a bit more detail of what I'm going to do over on the spaceship island. <laughs> well... It looks like a bit of a spaceship going on. 
Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I thank you very much for joining to me. Feel free to comment um, if it's your first time here. Check out some of my other videos. Um, I've been doing quite a few in the last couple of weeks. I'm hoping to carry on with that. Been a little bit of a break, as I say. I've been a bit run down. Um, but we're back into it. We've got plenty to look forward to. Um, I want to show you as well uh, an abandoned mine shaft that I've been clearing out um, bit by bit when I've just, you know, I've been tired of standing around in the grinder over there trying to get some levels. Um, so we'll have a look at what's down there. And, yep, join me next time.